Hi, my name is Megan Griffith, author of Recovering from Mental Illness here on Healthy Place, and today I want to talk about responsibilities, both to ourselves and to the world around us. Lately, I have been feeling like I need to get more involved, and I need to not just care about what's going on around me, but actively do what I can to help. Sometimes the world can seem like a really dismal place, but uh, Mr. Rogers always talked about how his mom used to tell him to look for the helpers. You know, anytime something bad happens, look for the helpers. There's always people that are going to help. And in my head, I've always considered myself one of those helpers. But recently I've been taking stock of my life and realizing that um, I don't actually do a lot to be involved in my community or the world at large. And a lot of that stems from my recovery. So recovery takes a lot out of you. It takes all of your energy to survive sometimes, and that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. But I'm finally starting to make it out of survival mode, which is fantastic. But now I'm having to learn how to, to transition and apply all of that extra energy that I used to have to pour into myself. And finally, I'm able to give it back to the world and I'm kind of lost on how to do that because I just haven't really had that opportunity for a long time. I've spent a long time making myself better and making sure that I can survive this world and now I want to make it easier for others to survive in it too. Um, but doing that is difficult and figuring out how to do that is difficult and how to balance my energy. I'm one of those people who tends to be very all or nothing. I tend to be all in or all out. And for a long time, I have been all in to my recovery and making myself better. I just want it to be better. And finally, it's starting to happen. Um, but when I get really involved with other people and helping other people, I tend to completely neglect myself then. And then I'm back in the same spot where I was. A lot of my progress gets erased whenever I do that. Um, because I stopped taking care of myself. I'm not totally sure how to balance social responsibility and personal responsibility is what I'm saying. I am not an expert by any means, but I am someone who's working on it. I am in the same place you are. I'm trying to be better at reaching out to people while also taking care of myself. I think one way to do this is to kill two birds with one stone to get rid of this idea of pure altruism, like if you're gonna do something good, it has to only be for the sake of doing something good. You can't get anything out of it. I think we have to get rid of that idea and start looking for ways that I can help the world and help others that also help me and my mental health. So a big example for me is I am very extroverted, but I don't always cater to that part of me or take care of that part of me because I'm also very anxious. <laughs> and so I tend to isolate to deal with that. And one way I could potentially take care of my mental health and also reach out to the community around me is through volunteering with people. I can get you know, that time spent with other human beings that satisfies my extroversion and makes me feel good. And I can also be doing something good for my community. So volunteering at a food bank or um, a homeless shelter or animal shelter, I'm not even sure yet. I really need to look into the possibilities around me. There's so many avenues that we can go down to volunteer and to help other people. Um, you just have to look for them. And that is what I want to start doing. So I thought I'd make a video about it and see what you guys' thoughts are. Uh, do you struggle with feeling selfish in your recovery for not reaching out enough? Or do you struggle with transitioning when you do start to recover and getting used to taking care of other people again without neglecting yourself? Um, I'm, I'm really interested to hear your thoughts. So let me know. In the